Hey everyone, this is your girl Kitty Cam and welcome to the Kitty Cam vlog. I hope y'all having a wonderful weekend so far. Um, I know I've been very busy and everything like that. So but other than that, as you can see today, we'll be reacting to another video of Nephew Tommy. And um, I believe we're going to have some new some new pranks in here I'm not too sure okay I'm not too sure some of you might have heard it some of you might not but um I know some of these is probably new to me but anyway y'all so I hope y'all weekend is going great so before we get started make sure you guys like and subscribe Hello, I'm trying to reach uh trying to reach Brother Robert. And speaking. Hey, how you doing? I'm uh, I'm calling you from the church. How you doing, brother? Man, I'm doing super fantastic. Any day above ground is a good day. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Hey, uh hey listen, man, we wanted to uh uh uh, uh being one of the brothers of the church, I wanted to give you a call. Man, you didn't make it today, but you uh, well, you know, your wife stood up today and uh asked us to keep y'all in our prayers because y'all uh definitely trying to bring us a new child into the world, and, and she let us know that, you know, uh, uh, she, she's, she's uh, being a little older now, 41, 42, you know, she said it takes a little longer to try and conceive a child than, you know, in your earlier years, so we, we definitely wanted to let you know, man, that we, we got y'all in our prayers, man. Uh, man, you just don't know how much we appreciate that, man. Yeah, we've been trying, but I know with, with prayers, all things are possible. Yeah, well, we definitely want to, definitely want to keep you out in our prayers, man, and, uh, I uh, hope that you all are able to conceive this child and bring, you know, bring, 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 bring a new, a new child into this world. You know, the, the book says, "Be fruitful and multiply." Definitely, definitely. Now, who, who is this again? <laughs> bro, this brother Arthur. Brother Arthur. I, I don't know if you know me directly, but I'm, I'm brother. I'm one of the brothers at the church. Oh, okay, okay, brother. Arthur. Thank you. No, 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 brother Robert. What I wanted to ask you, man, was: the, Have you considered any, uh, any alternatives? Uh, methods as far as, you know, uh, maybe helping this situation? Uh, we've looked at a few. Uh, what, what, what are you referring to as an alternative? Well, I mean, I, I think I have a, a good uh, thing then that, that might be able to help this thing speed up the process and, 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 and you guys will be expecting in no time, man. Man, we <laughs> definitely open for some things like that. Well, what, what, what you got in mind? I mean, uh, well, what I have is a little, little unorthodox. Man, but I think if if you allow me to, to 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 help you on this, man, I think that you'll be definitely satisfied. And you know, man, if, if nine months from now you guys will be at the hospital waiting looking for you, your baby boy, your baby girl, you know. Well, well clarify on after that. Okay. Uh, see what what I have in mind, man, is, is is have you considered maybe like a surrogate father? Uh, clarify. <laughs> Clarify Sarah, because I'm thinking the wrong thing. I don't. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. What do you mean by Sarah the fuck? Well, what it is, man, is you know, you know, of course, a surrogate mother is someone that will carry a child for those that cannot carry one. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So what? 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 Uh, I've gone to the doctor and got myself checked out, man. Good physical and everything. I'm physically fit and everything. And you know, maybe I guess the complications are coming from. Uh, you, as far as the child not being, you know, you're not being able to conceive right now. No, 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 ain't, not, ain't nothing wrong with me, man. Okay. Now, now, what you mean by you physically fit? I mean, what, what the hell that got to do with Sarah? Well, see, what I'm saying is, if, 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 what, you know, if you, if you allow me to come over and, and, and supply my services, I mean, let's say if you left for a weekend, man, and, and I stayed over there, by the time you get back, man. Man, what the f*** wrong oh. with you? Is, is this what's going on at this church, man? Am I at the wrong church? They, they, you you telling me you try? Help me understand. You saying you want to come over and, and, and have sex with my wife? Well, I mean, I mean, don't, don't look at it like that. Don't look at it like that. Look at it as if I'm helping you I mean, what you're telling me is directly you just saying use those words. Excuse me now? Okay. You okay. telling me you want to come have sex? With my wife. No, no, no. I want to come over and just apply my services, man, and put you guys in a better position that you will be able what to have a child service? in your life. You, you, wow. understand what I'm saying? you understand where I'm coming from? No, I don't. Sound like you tell me you want to have sex with my life, man. What the f is wrong with you, man? Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, this, this, this brother Arthur, man. Listen, see, what I'm, what I'm trying to do... Man, I don't give a f if you brother Charles. Who the f 
pastors up, up, man. I don't know you. And then you talking about the church. What kind of shit? Is this, this the thousand dollars at this church? No, no, this, really the church don't have nothing to do with this. It's me calling you to lend but you. Well, you calling me saying I'm the church. I'm trying to be, if you allow me to be the surrogate father, I'll have a pregnant by the end of the week. Man, you got me up. As soon as I see, I'm coming to Bible study Tuesday to see you. You show up at Bible study so I see who the f you are. Okay, okay, bro. Guaranteeing who you want to have, brother, brother. Man, what kind of f is brother, this, man? You keep looking at it like that. How is we going to get this? How are we going to get past this so we can get you to this child, man? We ain't going to get past this. You talk about having sex with my wife. Where your wife at? Brother, you ain't got no wife? So I, I, I have a, a wife, brother, Rob, but what I'm trying to do is help you along with yours and getting this child conceived. That's what I'm trying to help. Brother, you wow. can't help me talking about having sex with my wife. You said on other that I didn't think you was going that far with it. How the f*** you get my phone number? Well, you know, we, we have people listed at the church. We have all phone numbers listed. He lists mine. And when I get that to you, I hope to see you because I'm going to punch you head. Yeah. Hey, look, man, why don't, I, why don't I speak to your wife uh, when she comes to church this week, and I'll see how man, she... Man, don't say a thing to my wife. Hold on, I'm just going to talk to her and see how she feels about maybe, maybe you know, using man, this... No, no, you can't say Man, don't even look in her direction. <laughs> Brother, what about, man, who are you? I need to see you myself. Okay, what, 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 what is all the anger, though, brother? What, 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 what... Man, you, man, you wouldn't be angry at you just sitting there telling me. Let's flip the script. I'm going to come have sex with your wife. Okay. You should get angry. Okay, brother, I, I, I got one more thing I need to tell you. Can, <laughs> are, are, are you ready for, can I say this? Man, you better hurry up before I hang up in your face. Okay, are you, are you listening, brother Rob? I didn't listen. I'm tired of listening. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey <laughs> Morning Show. You just got pranked by your wife. <laughs> uh-uh. Man, what you say? <laughs> Hey, man, hey, Tommy, hey. you can't be doing like that, man. I'm about to have a rat come to change with everybody in there. <laughs> well, man, your husband going go straight punch Thomas in the mouth. Then look for you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you headed on that one, man? Ooh. All right, hey, one more thing, man. Tell me this. What is, what is the baddest, I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land? The Morning, morning, show it. Hello? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to reach, uh, Ronnie? Yeah, this is Ronald. Hey, hey, what's going on, man? My name is Perkins, man. I, I saw you, um, I saw you at the club last week. Um, you, you, you do go to the club grooves a lot, right? Uh, who, who do you say this is? My name is Perkins. Okay, P Perkins, how'd you get my number? I, I got the number from one of the girls at the club. Uh, I, I asked them for it. They gave it to me. Which girl? Can you tell me her name? Uh, no, I don't even know her name, man. I just, you know, I saw you uh, from across the way and I asked about your number and she gave it to me. So, I, 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 you know, I didn't think it was a big deal or whatever. You saw me at a club. I saw you, I saw you at Grooves. You was at Grooves. Right. You asked someone, a, a girl at the club about me and she gave you my number. Yeah, she was somebody on the, one of the waiters, one of the girls that, that waits on you. Somebody, okay, so how can I help you now, person? What I was asking is, are you, are you, uh, what I wanted to know is, are you, are you coming to the club this Thursday? I'm there pretty regularly, so maybe. I'm, I'm probably. Okay. All right, yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to be there, too, on Thursday. I, I, what I was asking, man, reason why I was asking, cause, see, last week, I, I don't think I was mistaken by it, but, uh, you know, when I saw you across the room, I, 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 I'm almost certain you gave me the code. No, you lost me. Yeah, I gave you a code. What code? I didn't give anything last week to anyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, oh, you must have given me a code. Wrong. I'm mistaken. I can't be the person you're talking about because I didn't give anyone anything last week. No, no. It, I mean, it's just a visual code, you know. It's a visual code. You gave me the code last week. The code <laughs> for what? You know, to, to, to like, come over and buy you a drink, you know. Oh, oh no. I didn't give no codes like that. Yeah, 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 you gave, you Who gave, you gave me a code for show last week. Wait, 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 what, what did you say your name was? My number? Your name. Yeah, I don't want your number. I my name is Perkins. My name is Perkins. Everybody know me by Perkins. But yeah, you gave, you gave me a code from across the room. That's why I got the number. And they giving out, somebody gave you my number at the club for some code? No, she don't, she don't, she don't know you gave me the code, you know. But you did give me, you gave me the code, though. Look, man, I don't, I don't even know what the f 
the code is. So you gave me the code from across the room, man. man. You gave me the code. My man, listen. Whatever you do on your time is your business. I don't know a code, so even if I did say or look or do anything, I don't know what a code is to even give a code. So you got the wrong but person. You gave me the code. I didn't give no f- codes. Hey man, I don't want to drink. I don't want no drink. I don't want nobody giving out my number at the club. As a matter of fact, I need to call the manager for the club because somebody got to get fired for that. For the code? You, no you can't get fired for the code, man. I don't know nothing. Hey, bro, how many times I got to tell you, listen, man, do what you do, but I can tell you what I don't do. I don't give out codes. You gave me the code, man. Brother, tell me what the code is then. Tell me what I did so I can know never to do that again. You already know the code because you gave me the code. Second of all, tell me who the lady is who gave you my number, who the waitress is. I can't believe you even calling me about a code that I allegedly <laughs> gave you. Are you serious? Listen, are you going to be there Thursday? No, are you serious? Are you for real? Are you going to be there Thursday? Hell no, I ain't going to be there Thursday. And, and if I am there Thursday, man, you better not run up on me talking about no codes. Because I'm going to find who I, how you are. I'm going to find who the, the person is giving out my number. And it's going to be some problems at the club on Thursday. So if you think you've seen a code, approach me about a code and see how we handle it on Thursday. <laughs> How's that? And I'm telling you, you know, I'm still about this. I don't do nothing about no codes. I don't do codes. I don't give out my numbers. I don't want you to buy me a drink. Do whatever you do. Whatever you do behind closed doors, that's what the f*** you do. But that ain't what I do. So don't call me with this. F- don't approach me on Thursday because you're going to have a problem in a club that I used to think was cool. But now I know it's some other f- going on and I can't even go there no more. They're not giving out codes. You gave the code. Give out no- hey, man. Say, bro, I ain't give out no code. And you need to stop saying that, man. Because I, I don't know what no code is. Okay. You want to know what the code is? Tell me what the code is, man. I'm going to tell you what the code The code is is that, is that, is that this is a prank phone call. <laughs> this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey morning show. Oh, my God. That was a good one. You I got like that prank, one. Dog. <laughs> 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 Come on, man. Wow. Wow, you know, you you almost made me lose my favorite lifestyle, man. <laughs> I was kind of upset about that. Talk about a code. Wow. Oh, man. Come on, man. Hello? Hello, who is this? Miss Glenda, who is this? This Benji. I'm I'm calling. Is, is, is Miss Purvis there? Um, no, she's not here right now, but this is her daughter. Um, is there a problem? Uh, no, this, this, this Benji. This mama, uh, mama Lois nephew. Who, who is this again? This Glenda. This, you know, um, mama Lois, mama Lois, your ain't it, ain't it? Correct. Mama Lois and Miss Purvis' sister. Okay, I'm Benji. I'm, I'm, I'm her nephew from the other side of the family. Uh, is, is Miss Purvis? Is she? Is, is your mama making the, 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 the dressing? Yeah, she's making enough for about forty-five people. Um, we actually, um, this was discussed about a month ago. Right mm-hmm. on the y'all. We, they had the um, conference call. Okay, now listen. What, what the reason why they they got me to call? What's wrong? Oh, uh, okay. They not gonna they not gonna need her to do the um to do the dress. And why wouldn't they need her to do the dress? She been making it for ten years. We just we just discussed this. So what do you mean? They they say that they got somebody down here that's gonna do the dress. Especially since y'all traveling, y'all ain't got to bring it. You know, uh, and be traveling with it, but they got somebody gonna do the dress. Okay. Well, first of all, who are you? You're you're Benji. What is your name? That was not my name, Benjamin, but they called me Benji. But 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 uh, uh, like I say, uh, I'm on the other side of the family. I ain't on y'all side. Okay. Well, I'm still trying to figure out why are you calling me because she's been making the dress for ten years, like I said, and I mean it's been discussed. So I don't even know why why you're calling me. I don't even know you. <laughs> oh, okay, well, what I'm trying to explain to you just right here is that they got some, y- y'all ain't got to worry with bringing the dressing. They got somebody going to bring, they got somebody down here that's going to cook it. So, in other words, you know, y- if you can tell Miss Purvis, she ain't got to worry about the dressing this year. Oh, so you want me to tell my mama, after she's been making dressing for 10 years, that y'all say, you, y'all ain't worried about it. She shouldn't have to make it this year because we driving there. We drive every year. So, I'm not going to do that to her. So, I mean, I don't, I don't even know who you are to be calling me anyway. Why isn't somebody calling me that I know regarding this? Okay, okay. You Glenda, right? I am Glenda. Uh, all right, listen. Let me say this, because I, I don't mind saying what, what everybody thinking, but, but most people don't want to say. Let me just say this right here. Really what's going on is this right here. A lot of people in the family 
you know, don't really don't don't really like Miss Purvis dressing. <laughs> Benji, Benjamin, who the f are you supposed to be? Let me explain something to you. My mama gonna make this dressing. You gonna eat that and we ain't bringing that on with us. So you can tell your family that I said that. Do you understand me? No, I, I, I mean, I, I, first of all, you got to understand that I'm bringing news that, that, that people done, done voted on, and this is what everybody want to do. Don't nobody well, well, why didn't they call? We had a meeting. I'm going to make a person. She's been making it 10 years. Ain't nobody been saying nothing. And guess what? When I'm up in the house, nobody better not be walking up and through there talking about my mama either. And y'all go eat the <laughs> Okay, but see right there. Why, why, if people don't like the dressing, Glenda, why is you want to make su submit everybody to having to eat it if they don't like it? You don't eat. That's all I know. I don't know you are calling me no. Well, I don't know no Benjamin, Benji, whoever the hell you are. You, I'm Mama Lois' nephew from the other side of the family. Exactly. I don't know you. Okay, and, and, and really, really to, to bag all that, I don't really know you. But I'm, but but I'm, but I'm man enough. To, I'm man enough to call you and tell you what we gonna do and what we ain't gonna do. Well, I know one thing. I done said it once and I repeat it again. She gonna make that dressing. You gonna eat it and we gonna go on by our day. Okay, okay, <laughs> right there. Listen, and I know this might be hard for you to understand. What you grew up with liking, everybody else might not like. You, you can say what you want to. I don't even remember your being in my way. So you might not like it because you ain't been around, but she making dressing. Now, first of all, when y'all get down here, it's going to already be some more dressing here. Okay, okay. And she going to make her dressing, and we going to sit down, and we all going to eat. And I'm not, it, 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 it's, it's not even going to be discussed no further than that. I said what I got to say, because you're not going to hurt my mama's feelings. Okay, there ain't nobody trying, that's why I'm trying to tell you to tell her don't make it now, so she don't even bring it down. What's the we make it when we get there anyway. Hey, look, I'm finna say this here, because <laughs> evidently you ain't really understanding what I'm saying to you. I'm going to say it as clear as I can say it. If y'all come down here with that dress, I promise you, we already got dressing made. We throwing that dressing in the trash so everybody can get the dressing that we made for them. Point mm. blank. That's what we doing. Please, let me explain something to you. I'm going to be on dressing <laughs> patrol, and if I find out you and threw my mama's dressing in the trash, it's going to be some and we're going to set that off. I'm not playing with you. This what's too funny to me. Uncle Carl and Kim, we're all on this conference call. And ain't none of them balling up to call us or tell us to bull. But now they're going to set your stupid up calling me. I don't even know your call. I guess they felt like you was the call, like you the baddest in the world. But Benji, Benjamin, I don't even know your rap. I'm telling you now. I'm not playing with you. I'm telling you, anybody hurt my mama feeling, it's going to be some in that And I'm telling you, all y'all going to be Y'all feel it down now. But I'm coming. You know, like one, can, I say, one. can I say something else to you? I wish you would. Can I tell you what else they were saying? I mean, what? They wanted me to tell you this, Glenda. This is nephew Tommy <laughs> from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your oh, cousin, wow. Sheila. Got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> call me? <laughs> you almost got the head. You about to make me say it off. Oh, what? Ooh. <laughs> 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 baby, this Thanksgiving was, it wasn't going to be no Thanksgiving, baby. Because I was going to have my brother's work vengeance. <laughs> Y'all play too. Trying to get uh, Marcia, Mar Marcia. Yes, this is Marcia. Marcia, how you doing? I hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. Are you uh, are you at work right now? Yes, I am at work. What can I help you with? Okay, my name is James. James, I'm the general manager here at the uh, apartment complex where you live, the Summit Towers. Okay, and why are you calling? You're in an apartment. Is that right? Yes, I am. Why? I'm, I'm sorry. 
I am. Why, is, why are you asking? Uh, first of all, let me say this. Let me say Happy New Year to you. We um, got some new rules and everything that, that are uh, being passed out, and we're making some phone calls to some of the tenants here in the apartment building, and everybody's kind of split up different lists on trying to call different people, and you actually happen to be on my list to give a call. So, um, you're calling like me I, to tell me what? What is it that you're trying to tell me? Okay. You, you, what, what's going on here is, do you have children living in the in apartment with you? Yes, I do. And if you work at the apartments, you know that. Oh, oh, okay. Well, yes. You, now, you have, how many children do you have in total? I have three. Why? What does this have to do with the call? What is, what is it that you want? Here's the deal, ma'am. What's going on is, we've got a new rule now here at the uh, Summit Towers that no one can have more than two children living in their apartment. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Two children? What? I have three. What am I supposed to do? Uh, well, actually, we're, we're trying to give everybody till 6 o'clock this evening to at least get the third child taken care of where they can okay, go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold the up. Wait. So you wow. trying to tell me I have to kick one of my kids out because of a new rule that you have? Uh, Is well, that what you're like, trying like to tell I, me? You know, that's, that's pretty much the rule they've come up with for 2000. No, that ain't the rule. You need to call somebody else with that because I'm not kicking none of my kids out just because you made a new damn rule. Find somebody else to call. Oh, oh, okay, but ma'am, it's not about finding someone else to call. These are rules, and, and the tenants have to adhere to the rules. So. Okay, then you need to change the rules. I just signed my lease, and I, I'm, I'm abiding by all the damn rules, and you won't call me and tell me I got to get rid of one of my damn kids by a certain time. What wow. they supposed to go? Where they supposed to go? Do you, do you have any uh, other relatives where the, where, where the third child? Hell no, I ain't got no other relatives. I'm not relative and they on my damn lease. You knew that when I signed it. Is there, is there, out of the three children you have, man, is there, is, ma'am, is there one that you, that you feel less about than the other two? Are you serious? Are you, are you going to ask me that I, I like all my kids. I don't like you calling me right now telling me no like this. I don't like your oh. But they staying. So what else the I'm going to do? So you can come over there whatever time you want to come. You can put whatever notice on your door and all three of them going to be sitting down eating dinner when your get there. What else the you want? Ma'am, I'm, I'm not, listen, but the bottom line is one of your kids has to go by 6 o'clock. Ain't no bottom line. Wow. Ain't no bottom line. So you might as well just hang the damn call up and find some somebody else. Okay, ma'am, everyone, I'm not every, every, I'm not every one, I'm not kicking them out. I'm kicking your out, but I ain't kicking them out. Okay, but ma'am, let me let me say this to you. Everyone in the apartment building, if they have... I don't care about no everyone in the apartment. Everybody in the apartment ain't paying my bills. I'm the paying bills, and I'm going to work, and I'm doing my damn best, and you're going to cuddle me with some with some new rules. You might as well buy. I'm gonna hang up. No, no, wait, ma'am, wait a minute. You have to pick a third. One of the one of the three. Don't have to do. One of one of the three children have to go, ma'am. I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you. Kick one of your kids out. Kick one of your kids out. That's what you do. I don't live there. Kick one of your kids out. I don't live there, ma'am. I'm the general manager. I don't live there in that apartment building. I can't believe you gonna call me with some new on a new damn day talking about what what kid do I like the least. Really? Are you really going to call me with this okay. Well, you just come over and see how many going to be there. Ma'am, is there, is there a particular child that you, you would like to give up so we can get past this? Okay, you already asked me a and I told you no. So what the you we have, we have me to get to the Miss no Marcia, like Marcia we have no. to get to the bottom line on which child is going to... Listen, the if you... The bottom line is you don't need to be calling me telling me to get rid of one of my kids because of a new damn rule. I think that's some for you to even be telling me that damn stuff. You ought to feel real stupid calling somebody telling them to get rid of their damn child. Okay, listen, Miss Marcia, here's the deal. If, you, if you're if you not able to pick and choose, then what we're going to have to do is come in and extract one of your kids ourselves. I don't want you to come and extract. Extract the is extract. First of all, you can come and extract you and whoever the else you want. They all going to be there just like I told you. It ain't going to be one that's going to be leaving. I, no, none of them is going to be leaving. I want you to call. I want you to come to my job, to my damn house, and, and try to extract one of my damn kids and watch what the is going to happen in 2012. Watch mm -hmm. what's going to happen. Come to my Okay, ma'am, I'm not going to say, you know what? Here it is. It's already been brought to our attention by Tommy that Aisha is the one that we should, we should probably... Who the hell is Tommy? You said your name was James. Who is Tommy? Who do you know? We've been told by 
telling me that Aisha is the one that we need to extract from your home and take her to another place. Okay, I'm going to extract Tommy. You send Tommy to the job or to the damn house. I'm going to extract him. Ain't no Tommy. I don't even know no named Tommy. Okay, yes, you do. I don't know nobody named Tommy. Yes, you do, ma'am. You do. Look, you done already made my damn blood pressure run up. You done made me mad and now you trying to tell me I got to extract one of my damn kids and I know a named Tommy when I'm no. You do know Tommy. You know nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> your, your sister Sharita got me to pray for you. <laughs> Dang. I'm going to kill her. <laughs> I'm going to kill her. I told her I was not going to curse for 2012, and she didn't make me curse and cuss everybody out. It's no job. I'm going to kill her. <laughs> She told me, she said, it's your New Year's resolution was you're going to stop cursing. Is that what you told her? I, I told her I was going to stop cursing, but a call like that, that make anybody <laughs> curse. I'm talking about taking one of my damn children. I'm going to keep wow. her. I'm going to have to extract her. <laughs> oh, baby, your sister got you. She got you good. You yeah. are the first prank phone call of 2012, so give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> <a call. laughs> no. I, I, it don't matter, baby. They weren't finna take your kids. I, I heard it in your phone. Hell box. no. I was finna be waiting at the door for they. <laughs> hey, I gotta ask you something, baby. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? <laughs> the Steve Harvey Morning Show. They got me. It's the Steve Harvey Morning <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that was funny. That was real funny. <laughs> Will you be my Valentine? I knew it. <laughs> Sound pretty simple, don't it? Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's go, cat. Yeah, hello? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to reach Davian. Yeah, this this, this Davian. What's that? Who is this? Hey, what's up, bro? This this uh this Trevor, man. This this Trev. They um you uh I got your number. You uh I work at the job with you, man. I'm in a different department, but I work at the job with you. Okay. Okay. Tre Trevor. Trevor. What, yeah, what would tre I know? I don't, I don't know no Trevor. What, what would I know, Trevor? Um, like I said, I'm in a different department, man. I'm. I'm I, I see you guys sometime when y'all going to lunch, man. We be coming back. A couple right. of the ladies or whatever. I, I I see you going to see you going to lunch. You know, back and forth or whatever. But yeah, like I said, I'm in a different department. You know. Oh. Okay. But uh, what could I? I mean, okay, Trevor. No disrespect. I was in the middle of the summer. But what could what could I help you with, man? But can I can I help you with something? Is there a reason for uh, the First and foremost, man, let me let me let me do this. Let me congratulate you, man, because my understanding is that you you might be um you might be getting a promotion at the job. So you know, big uh, ups to you on that. I, I know it's you know I didn't heard about it. That's really personal. So you must work with me, but that's crazy. How, how did you get my number, though? I got your number from somebody at the job. Yeah, they, you know, I asked them uh, did they have um I guess everybody call you Dave, but but your name is Davian. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, they call me Dave. Yeah, that's me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some little, little chicks at the job. I got it from you, man. But but check this out, man. You um, I know I noticed you you now. Are you are you a day, day? Are you married, man? I, I noticed you ain't got no wedding ring. Are you married? Mm. Am mm. I married? What's up with what kind of question is that? I ain't married. What's that? Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Hey, so check this out, man. Um, uh, are you getting out on Friday? You know, I know a lot of people hit the happy hour. Are you getting out on Friday? Um, uh, uh yeah. I mean, that was the plan. You know what I mean? Well, but what's, what's the meaning of this? You're asking me a lot of questions, my brother. What's up, man? You got to get to the point with this. I got, you know, I got to do. I, I ain't got time for this. You cool with Thaddeus, right? That's that's like my brother. What's that? Man? Well, what's up with that? What, what's up, man? You call. I'm trying to. Get, what's up? You know. Come on, man. Get to it, bro. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to. Hey, I got. To, I'm, I'm coming. Give me a minute. Five seconds. Five seconds. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. I want to ask you this, man. If, if you know, just I don't hate. To, I'm sorry, rushing in on your time or whatever. But I want to ask you this here, man. Will you, um, will you be my Valentine? Oh, they say what? Maybe I heard that wrong. Re rewind that, bro. Come back, come, come back around. I, I said, you know, will you be my Valentine? So first of all, listen, man. I don't know who told you to call me with this. Uh, no disrespect <laughs> to the people. I was just hoping we'd go out and get some dinner. Get some, no, 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 get some, no, 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 uh, some drinks on. No, 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 no. Won't be none of that. <laughs> um, you know, I got a cousin that, that, that do your thing. I, me personally, brother, 
I don't, I don't. Like, what the f***? Why would a person get this person? <laughs> Sir, I, I I don't know why you. Wait, wait, let me ask you this: Was it the color that I wore? Or something? Did I have a haircut? Did I have a piercing or something in my nose or something? That you, what, what made you think I was the guy for that? I mean, I I, I just you know I just I just sensed you know. Hey, bro, th- listen, this is a serious situation, my man. You can't be, brother. I don't I don't I don't even get out like that. Okay, I no you no. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna f- this job. I'm not gonna f- this job. You must have got me mixed up with some other person. Trying me every day, man. I'm trying to listen, man. I'm gonna get off the phone with you. I'm, I'm a little confused. I'm just trying to figure out why you thought I was the one to call for this. I mean, maybe somebody told you something about me, bro, and they got it mixed up with somebody else. I know my name kind of funny or whatever, but that's why I use Dave because I ain't want nobody to get it confused or you, you, you know what I'm saying. But obviously, I need to, to maybe shorten it or put a D or something like that. Maybe the. Uh, so are you saying? Are you saying no dinner, man? Bro, I didn't your f***ing man, bro. So you isn't won't be, so, 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 bro, isn't so you. That, no, no, no. Isn't it obvious to you that I'm, I'm okay. not playing? Okay. I don't even know why you f***ing calling me, man. I'm giving my number out of the job, man. I'm trying to get a promotion and shit. You calling me with this little f- right here, man. I ain't got time for this, man. I got s*** to do, oh. man. You, I can't believe, man, somebody will give you my number, man. I know what my name is, man. I know how my name okay, is, so, down, man, but I don't get Okay, out, okay, like so, that, so. So let me ask you this here. Let me ask you this here, Dean. They Valentine this shit, man. You got me fed up. Where'd you go up from? I don't play that shit, man. I'm from the South Side, okay, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> so South Side, South Side. Let me ask you this here. You, you, you know Thaddeus, right? Hey, look, man. I know Thaddeus. What the fuck that got to do with what we're talking about right now? Every time it's I talk, got, I keep asking y'all these questions, man. Every okay, it's, it's got this to do with it, man. Around. Look, I ain't going nowhere with nobody and all. We'll just get to the point, man. Thaddeus, what's up, man? That's like I told you, like a brother. Sister. Thaddeus, Thaddeus gave me your number, man. Why the f? I'm gonna kill Thaddeus. When you kill Thaddeus, you might well go and kill Tommy too. Who the f is Tommy, bro? Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Oh. Come on, Davian. You got prank, baby. Me and Thaddeus got your ass. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Lord, that I had to take my jacket off, man. My work clothes. Tommy. That's funny. That's what we doing for 2020, Tommy. Come on, bro. You know, I don't play that, man. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, you got to get it to me. Come on, baby. Davian, what's the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you this. Whichever one of you I see first, he's the baddest of you. I'm f***ing up. <laughs> Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach a uh, Jason uh, Jason Murphy. Yeah, this is him. What's going on? Hey, how you doing? My name is Carl Broussard. I'm giving you a call. Um, we're actually reaching out to several people, trying to see, um, you know, which way people are actually voting for this coming election. I'm with African Americans who want to make America great again, and we want to see if we can count on you to vote. Republican that's coming election. <laughs> no, no. Republican? Like for Donald just, Trump? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, like I said, there's quite a few of us African Americans out here who are fond of the Republican Party. And, you know, we're, we're reaching out. We're doing quite a, you know, making 50 phone calls and wanting to see can we count on certain people to be at the polls with us? You can't count on me. No, I'm not about to be an Uncle Tom. No, I'm not oh. voting for Donald Trump. That's not going to make you an Uncle Tom, sir. That just means <laughs> that you you like the Republican Party and you support what they're doing. That yeah, I don't. Well, I don't. Like I don't support. I don't support racism. So, like, as a black dude, why would I vote for someone who doesn't have my interest? Like, no, I'm not voting for Trump. How do you even get my number? Who would even think? No, calm down. You know, maybe I can persuade you to think and look at it in a different light. You know, the Republican Party, they're doing some great things. They're doing some great things for African-Americans. Uh, employment is up. I mean, you, you got to look at the positive side of things. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, you, not only that. You don't even sound like you believe that. You sound like you're reading the script right now. Like, do you even believe that? Well, Jason, let me tell you this. Not only that, you know, if we can count on you, if I can get your verbal that we can count on you, we're also going to send you a T-shirt and a Make America Great, uh, great Again hat. You know, we're going to send you that. <laughs> What the fuck? I was like wearing a make America great hat in my neighborhood with a goofy ass t-shirt. I'm not about to. No, 
Are you trying to bribe my vote with a T-shirt and a stupid hat? All I'm saying is, man, we're reaching out to African Americans across the country. And we're just yeah, you keep TV. saying that, but like you're not gonna get the black vote just because you're black. Like that, they're not. No, like that's not how that works. I'm not voting for Donald Trump. Have you given it a chance? Have you thought about it? Have you? Have no, you I it? haven't thought about it. I know I'm not voting for Donald Trump. I don't know who is in the ballot. I don't know who's gonna be elected. I know when I get into the voter booth, if I see Donald Trump's name, I'm not checking it. I'm not marking it. I'm not circling it. I ain't voting for the man. Okay, so you don't want the hat. I'm doing a hat. No, I don't want your stupid hat. I can <laughs> order a hat. I don't want a hat with, with Donald Trump's stupid name. No. Like, do you not get that? I'm not voting for Donald Trump. But I mean, it's a real popular hat, though. I think you'd like it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta be with me. I'm not, I don't give a about the stupid hat, dude. Like, do you not get that? A hat is, is that, that's your selling point. You're trying to sell okay. me on Donald Trump, and your selling point is a fing hat. You know, you know what? I knew mm-hmm. it was a I knew it was to answer this damn phone number. I never answer phone numbers for people I know. You really, man? Why was somebody paying you to sit here and call other black people and try to sell them on Donald Trump? You're like, man, you're the dude in the back of Donald Trump, the one black dude in the audience that's sitting there with your goofy ass hat on, trying to make America great again. This is a bull. I don't know why I even answered this damn phone. Damn. Okay, sir. Sure. All I'm trying to do is get you to broaden your your your, your vision on this whole thing. I want you to Man, see that. I'm 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 done. Like I, you're goofy as hell, and I hope they <laughs> give you a fat check for this stupid <laughs> that you're doing because this is ridiculous. Okay, well you know uh, to be honest with you, man, I thought that you would like the hat. I thought you would like the shirt. You know, I think that you're not giving it a fair shot. You know, I think you're just listening to all the the naysayers out there because honestly, bro, you're not you're not giving it a shot, man. There's some blacks out here. That, that, that want to make America great again. We wear the hat with pride. We wear the shirt with pride. We need to rally up more of our people and let, let them understand that, you know, the Republican is not a bad part. You know dude, get the f- <laughs> dude, get the f*** out of my phone. You're literally, your selling point is a damn hat and a T-shirt. You've mentioned those hats and T-shirts 19 times. I, 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 I talk about the hats because I'm fond of the hat, okay? I wear them all the time, all right? So I'm just trying to, and I'm just trying to get you to look at, at Trump in a different light and look at the whole... Republican Party in a different light. You know what I mean? That's all I want you to do. I'm not voting for Donald Trump. Unless you're about to send me a check, I'm not voting for Donald Trump. I'm not. Okay. Whatever he's paying you, pay me that. And then I might think about wearing that stupid hat. But I'm not voting for Donald Trump. So mm-hmm. just call whatever other black person's on your list. Talk, call Tyrone or Tashika, whoever else is next, and pander to them. You like Donald Trump came to start this ass war, setting our kids over to Iraq and that, and everyone else. The list that you have for the people that you have calling and take me off this goofy ass list. That stupid hat. I got a room full of hats, and I'll be damned if I'm aware that stupid ass red one. So, matter of fact, take my number and draw a big X to it, and don't call me no more with your bull. Because I'm done. Donald Trump. Okay, okay. Sir, 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 you were recommended by Tommy. He said you would be on board. Well, what, what the f- Tommy? Who's Tommy? <laughs> but you, you don't you don't remember. Uh, Tommy said that you would be on board. He said you would wear the shirt. He said you would wear the hat. He said that you would probably, you know, stand behind Trump in the next rally. He, okay, he, well, he's Tommy the, don't know what the f- he's talking about because I'd be damned. I don't know no <laughs> name Tommy. I'm not wearing no f- I'm not wearing that hat. I'm not voting with this man. So take me off the list and stop with me. Like, I'm done. But Donald Trump is not getting my vote. So whatever time he told you was some bullshit. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you want to talk to Tommy? Sure. Why not? What Tommy? Who's Tommy? Where's Tommy? This is Tommy. I'm Tommy, baby. Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Jason, you just got pregnant. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Dude, you funny. got me so hot in this parking lot, man. <laughs> man I oh, know. man. I really, I really didn't think you was going to pick up, but, you know, I got you, baby. I got you. Dang, I, I never answer unknown calls, dude. I never do. So check this out. So you work with a, with a <laughs> white guy named Brian. You know Brian Henry, right? I do know Brian. Brian got me to prank phone call you.
Oh, wait. That was a good one. Oh, my God. Warren. Thank you for calling. I'm trying to uh, reach Warren, the manager. Is he in? Hold for me one second, please. This is Warren. Thank you for calling. Can I help you? Yeah, you, are you the manager there? Yes, sir. Your name Warren? Yes, sir. This is Warren. Okay, I, I need to actually file a lawsuit on y'all. And I'm actually calling you first to let you know that I'm getting ready to file a lawsuit <laughs> on the whole grocery store uh, uh, for what did happen to me. Uh, sir, um, let me let me get, uh, hold on a second. Sir, let me do this. Let me, let me, uh, what, what did you say your name was? My name is Evans. <laughs> Evans is my name. So Evans is your last name. Let me, let me write this down. And you came into my store. Did you have an accident in my store or something? Mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure what you're calling about. I, I, I had no accident. What happened was I came in there yesterday and I bought uh, a bunch of groceries and I bought a carton of eggs. Right. Now, when I got home, I, I was checking to make sure the eggs didn't, didn't break on the way home. When I got home, there was a baby chick inside the egg carton, man. One of the eggs had it had hatched and got my kids traumatized. Now they don't even want to eat breakfast or nothing around here because there's a baby chick Wait. inside the carton the eggs. Uh, that don't make no sense, man. Sir, um, <laughs> I don't mean to. Uh, let me. Can you tell me there was a, a, a chicken, a baby chicken, an actual chicken in the there egg? There was a baby chick inside the carton of eggs, man. Okay. And it got my kids traumatized, man. Don't nobody okay, want to okay, eat nothing. Sir, got eggs if, you're calm, if, you're calm, because, sir, if you're just calm down for one second. Listen. Um, put that chick down. What I told y'all, put that chicken down in there. Put it down. It might have rabies. Say what the? <laughs> I don't even think that that's possible, first of all. If you had... Any idea how this thing comes from the farm to the store? It is. It, they go over these eggs a countless number of times, and the temperature in the freezer, first of all, wouldn't even allow for a chicken to be alive. If you had a baby, I don't. Oh, I, I did. This I one. This, this, one be, this one. My, I, I don't know how this one got past the system. Okay, but what I do know <laughs> is we got a baby chick over here running around because y'all still ain't doing what y'all supposed to do, man. And I got and now my kids are traumatized behind this. When did you say you were in here, sir? I was in there yesterday. I bought the eggs yesterday, man. In, in, down here in, at Elm Street? Yes, I bought them at, at the grocery store. I, I, I sure did. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. Why don't you bring the eggs in to me? And the chick. So now you that, want me to transport a baby chick back to the grocery store? I, I, my, my, look, we already traumatized over here already behind this doggone baby chick, man. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not exactly sure what you are trying to pull here, but I, I just don't. I don't think that. First of all, any anyone with common sense would tell you that that's not possible. First of all, you can't have a baby chick living in a in a in a, a dozen eggs. There is no possible way. If this, the temperature in my freezers are at right above freezing. There's no chickens or fragile creature in the first place. You can't have a little bird is not going to survive the transport from the farm to the factory to my store. This baby chick, man. Hey, hey, hey! I'm not going to go back and forth with you. baby chick. If you want to bring me a dozen eggs, bring the dozen eggs in. If you can catch the chick. Catch a chick. Hey, man, you can't, you're you supposed to be the manager. You're not supposed to talk to me like this. So I've been trying all. to tell you uh, as politely as possible, if you want to bring in the, the 11 eggs and a chick, I will gladly refund your money, give you another car and eggs, whatever you want to do. But I am not going to sit on what's phone. I'm going to file a lawsuit because y'all done traumatized me and my lawsuit. kids. Sir, listen. All right, let's just bring this down. A lawsuit, sir, it, over a... Uh, a, a, a dozen eggs? Oh, oh I mean, a dozen eggs that got a baby chick in it, man. So let, uh, let me get your phone number and some information, and I will call to my manager, and we will figure this thing out for you because I, I just I just don't believe that mm -hmm. this would be possible. I just I don't understand how you would have. Let that chick let him, let, just leave him over there. <laughs> don't touch the chicken. The, I just don't believe that this could possibly be happening. So this is it's, it's unbelievable to me to <sighs> even get this phone call. Sir, sir, I don't have time to go back and forth with you about how something happened. All I know is it, maybe it's a fluke accident, okay? But it happened. My kids are over here playing with a <laughs> baby chick, and, and, and I'm traumatized. I don't even want to ever have breakfast ever again. And I'm on mm. the show. I file a lawsuit on your <laughs> show and your <laughs> show. Me? 
to, I don't think that has anything to do with me. I, <laughs> I didn't do anything uh, uh, except come into work today. You understand what I'm saying? If you want to file a lawsuit, okay, I'm going to file a lawsuit. I'm filing a lawsuit on the grocery late. store, and I'm filing a lawsuit on the manager, Warren, which is your <laughs> for giving me a <laughs> hard time about what I'm telling you that happened. And you ain't even got a hard time out of me yet. You understand what I'm saying? You want a hard time, come down here with those eggs. I'm bringing the <laughs> eggs down here, and I'm bringing that <laughs> baby chick that back uh, down there, <laughs> too. I'm bringing all of it. Well, please, because I'd like to see it. How much did you pay for those eggs? I paid about two dollars. It ain't about how much I paid for the eggs. It's what you have traumatized me. Oh, yeah, because I'm going to give you just that much back in the <laughs> when you get here. Do you understand what I'm oh, saying? I don't give a I got, times, I got cousins out here where I legitimate people want my attention and not some jack <laughs> from the telephone talking about some chicken and a grill <laughs> chair. Okay, well, let me let me tell you this, too. Do you have a guy that works at the checkout uh, uh, named uh, Tyrant? Yes. Okay, Tyron got me to prank phone call you. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey <laughs> Morning Show. Warren, your <laughs> just got pranked. Uh. What? <laughs> you kidding me. <laughs> hey. Man. Oh, my Man. God. <laughs> Man, I need to come up with chicken. <laughs> chicken. Chicken's going through eggs, Man. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm about to, I, I swear to God, I got people looking at me in this store like I'm crazy. Hey, Juan, I got to ask you, man, <laughs> what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Man, it's the Steve Harvey Morning Show. I'm grateful to God that I got him, man. That bitch. Mm, all right, y'all. So that was it. Oh, man, Nephew Tommy is hilarious. And some of these... um. These pranks, I have not heard of them before. So this is pretty much new to me, but I hope y'all enjoy these. Make sure y'all uh, comment under, the, uh, under this uh, video to let me know which part of uh, the prank calls that you all like. To me, I like, um, <laughs> which one? I like the, uh, the Valentine's Day. I like that one. Um, I like this the recent one dealing with uh, uh, Tommy suing the um, was at the grocery store. That's that's funny. And then I'm trying to think. Um, it's a, quite a few. I think the one where uh, the landlord told the lady that she can't have like three uh, she can't have like three kids in her apartment, something like that. That was funny. And then I think it's the other one with the Thanksgiving one. With the dress and that's funny so i like all of those those are very very funny <laughs> but anyway y'all thank you guys so much for love and support but like i said make sure y'all comment under under the video let me know which part that you like of the pranks for nephew tommy and other than that this is your girl kitty cam vlog make sure you guys like comment subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you don't mess out with any videos or uploads you know, so that way y'all can, you know, stay up to date with everything. But other than that, you guys stay blessed, stay safe, and y'all have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you next time. Bye.